back at home for our game, our second game here tonight. Let's welcome in the guys calling our first game in Ann Arbor tonight, Noah Eagle and Stephen Bardo. Guys, a chance for Illinois to bounce back at home tonight. No question, Ahmed, and, and looking forward to this game. It's an intriguing matchup. It always is in the Big Ten, certainly this time of year. But Illinois, still just two and a half games back of Purdue for that top spot in the conference. They're fighting in this final stretch of the season. Michigan, it feels like that's a, a common theme. Fighting is the right word. It's been a disappointing season. They're always going to put forth a good effort. Well, you heard Jordan just mention it. It's dog days of February, and so certain teams are in different lulls. Michigan played well against Wisconsin, getting a win. They want to rebound from that effort against Nebraska, but I like what Jawan Howard is saying to his team and getting them ready to play tonight. On the other side, we saw it at shoot-around. We heard it the last couple of days from Brad Underwood. He's not happy with the defensive effort the last couple of games here. Offensively, we know what this team's capable of. It starts with the on-ball defense in particular. Yeah, he wasn't pleased with the effort at Michigan State. Gave up 88 points in regulation. That's not going to get it done when you're trying to uh, vie for a Big Ten championship. Gave up 52% and 5 of 8 from 3. So Michigan State had their way on the offensive end. Expect Illinois to play kneecap to kneecap defense tonight to be much more aggressive and not give up three-point play. So play your kind of defense is what you're telling me. Yeah, uh, a, a, a few decades <laughs> yeah, ago. Your right. style of defense is what we're looking for. You need to do it, especially against Jalen Llewellyn. Heavy pressure is necessary. An experienced player. Brad Underwood's been incredibly impressed with the way he's handled this overall situation. And, Noah, we all should be impressed because you go from being the headliner one day to being in the breakout session the next day and back and forth and he's handled the emotional roller coaster extremely well the numbers bear that out and he is the head of the snake and then his front court mate Terrace Reed Jr. had his career high against Illinois in the first matchup between these two he's continued to improve He's improved at the free throw line. He's becoming much more aggressive and a really, really good offensive rebounder. Really good offensive rebounder. Looks like he got a fresh cut, so he's always ready for the game. <laughs> Steven Bardo's always our headliner, and we are very excited for what we're about to see here in Champaign. Always a fantastic environment at State Farm Center. All right, guys, looking forward to it. Illinois currently second in the Big Ten, as we mentioned before, behind 11-2 Purdue and Mr. Everything Zach Eady, who just showed us that he can do everything plus one now. We'll check in with the top team in the conference and the bracketology when we come back. Welcome to Big Ten Basketball presented by TikTok. We're here at State Farm Center in Champaign, Illinois. The Fighting Illini sitting at 14 in the country. Welcome in a Michigan Wolverines team hungry to get back in the W column. Excited for this one, excited for our doubleheader right here on Peacock as Illinois just a two and a half game deficit behind Purdue for that number one spot in the Big Ten. They're trying to get back up towards that top ten after the loss a couple days ago at Michigan State, 88 to 80. Brad Underwood called it the best environment he's seen all season in the Big Ten at the Breslin Center. Well, this one's pretty good. This one's right there with it, and he knows that his fighting Illini support is always going to be there. Eight and four in the Big Ten, 12 and two in this building as they shuffle in about 15,500 fans on hand getting set for action. And the fighting Illini also looking to avenge that loss from Saturday for Michigan. They got the big one over Wisconsin, could not follow it up. And a loss at Nebraska has them at eight and 16. Well, you look at this Michigan team right now. They're playing with house money, so there's not a lot of pressure on them. They can come in, they can be aggressive, they can play downhill. And we've seen it time and time again in conference play in mid to late February. Teams are a lot different than when they start the conference play. Well, Juwan Howard, it is the fifth of six games on the road without Doug McDaniel, so he will get Jalen Llewellyn at that starting point guard spot along with Burnett, Terrence Williams, Olivier Kamba, and Terrace Reed Jr. That has been the usual group on the road. Tara Shannon Jr., Ty Rogers, Marcus Damask, who's been playing lights out basketball, Quincy Garrier, and Coleman Hawkins will round out the five for Brad Underwood. We've got an outstanding officiating crew, Paul Sells, Jeff Anderson, and Doug Sermons. Garrier and Reed jumping up, and our first of a Peacock doubleheader underway here from State Farm Center. 